You're listening to a Life in Quebec podcast. For more, visit lifeinquebec.com. Ross Murray is a humorist, satirist and columnist for Life in Quebec. He's also probably a whole load of otherists that we can't think of right now. Ross lives in the eastern townships of Quebec and has published two books. You're not going to eat that, are you? And don't everyone jump at once. Here he is with his column, your summer reading guide from the Ross Murray family bookshelf. This first appeared in the July 2015 issue of Life in Quebec magazine. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Ross Murray, and I'd like to offer you some summer reading suggestions courtesy of Life in Quebec magazine. First up is The Collapsible Marriage by Gwen Gladinia. In her sequel to the best-selling The Disposable Date and The Travel Size Engagement, Gladinia asks the hard questions about wedded life. Is love forever? Is mustard a vegetable? Is Wednesday garbage day? Through the ongoing adventures and interminable foot rubs of Alex and Sandy, Kate Brangeline's most androgynous newlyweds, Gladinia uses her trademark wit and hand-me-down tweezers to concoct a tale that will leave the reader positively lopsided with inner ear problems, an Oprah's Bratwurst Club selection. Next up, The Scampy Old Broad Who Didn't Drool or Anything, by Bjorn Bjorn Bjornsson Bjorn. A bestseller in 16 country and an okay seller in seven more, the scampy old broad, as it's known for short, or SOB, as it's known for even shorter, or S, as it's known by the ridiculously vague, is another in the wildly popular and mildly condescending granny lit genre, translated from the Swedish into Dutch, back into Swedish, and then into English. SOB is a talcum-dusted tale of deceptively spry geriatrics who escape from a senior's home and inadvertently join ISIS. Worth the price of the book just for the chapter, Beheading? I thought you said bedwetting. My Airbrushed Life by Feta McBride. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll get blistering sunburns from lying out in the sun too long reading this madcap romp about Angus Doily, a middle-aged photo retouching technician living with cataracts and looking for love, or worst case, squinting for seduction, available only in large print and audiobook. Recalcitrant by Chuck C. Houlihan. This is the first in Houlihan's mildly successful Quartz Eater series. The novel is set in a dystopian future where the world government has convinced citizens they're living in chaos and repression. When really things aren't that bad, a young hero emerges from the darkness that is not actually so dark, claiming knowledge of the long-forbidden muse hick that is said to charm men's souls, and chicks apparently dig it too. Joined by a ragtag band of reprobates and an allotment of orphans, he sets off for the mythical Mountain of Diu, where other ragtag bands are said to gather to celebrate Muse Hick and sell overpriced souvenir t-shirts, followed by seven sequels, Virulent, Itinerant, Petulant, Flatulent, Expectorant, Elephant, and Say Hi to Your Mom. The Bronchial Addendum by Lubin Bunsen. The action never stops in this Guy Maddest spy thriller. Well, it does stop eventually, when the book is over. Everything is finite, after all. Even us, though we choose to ignore the fact. We're all just passing flecks of dust on the raging river of time. When you think about it, none of us will be remembered. Nothing matters. All is meaningless. Why do we even bother? So anyway, the bronchial addendum has tons of sex. Don't forget to pick up Life in Quebec magazine wherever newsstands can be picked up. I'm Ross Murray. Thank you for listening to the Life in Quebec podcast. For more news, commentary, editorials and opinion, visit lifeinquebec.com slash podcast.